from the Simona Saramith Arena at the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel, Pat Fleming welcomes all of you to the 2022 International Open. Thank you very much, everybody. The International is brought to you by Accustats, and it's proudly sponsored by Diamond Billiard Products, Simoneth Cloth, and Aramith Pool Balls, and we'd like to express our gratitude to those companies for all they've done to help support the International over the years. All right, we're getting to it. We've got winner side action for you right now in the nine ball division. We're starting to pare things down. Only a couple more days to go. It's getting exciting. Let's get right to player introductions. Our first player from Greece. He's a former World Pool Masters champion, and he's the 2022 Wisconsin Open champion. Sponsored by Predator, kindly welcome Alex Kazakis. Thank you. His opponent's from Spain. He's having quite a year, as most of us know. He's the reigning Derby City Nine Ball Champion. He's the reigning U.S. Open Nine Ball Champion. And a few more that we don't have time to mention. He's sponsored by Predator, by Echo Tisa, and by DS Billiards. It's La Ferrari, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Okay, go ahead, guys. Lag for the break. Good luck to both of you. Your official timekeeper is Dwayne Payne. Now my honor to send it up to the comm box to Mark Wilson and Jeremy Jones. Hello and welcome, pool fans, to more great pool action from here at the Sheraton Waterside Hotel in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm Mark Wilson, alongside me, Jeremy Jones. Uh, like uh, FSR's uh, uh, nickname, La Ferrari. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. about uh, covers all bases as far as being maybe the best nickname in the game. <laughs> he wears the Ferrari colors too. Well, and he's that engine has been revving in 2022, and and uh, probably wanted to end it kind of like that as well here as far as the singles play goes, the international. For those that haven't watched him play, they will enjoy it because it's a fast and he makes up his mind and executes great. So a race to 10, nine ball. Yeah, a little thin on the one to get the better uh, openings on the rack. Balls do come across and kiss a lot, so you'll see some variety. But I believe we had these two on the 10 foot just a couple days ago, right? With FSR taking it down, if I remember correctly. He's going to look at this to see if he can spin this ball in with a little English, and I don't think it, it's there, Mark. Sometimes you can use a little left to make oh, a ball yeah. grab at a slow speed and kind of manipulate the shot. But Here at the uh, overhead, it looks like it would be hard to do anything, but just if you can nip it, you'd maybe cut it towards the seven would be about the best you could do. Yeah, if the three wasn't there, he would certainly attack trying to run the cue ball somewhere, but the three's right in the way of that shot you're talking about. So a push out pretty warranted here. And this is, again, a similar thing. Just, ooh, he went too far here. This is a huge mistake early if he snookered himself on the two. It's real close. And it's so close that... You know, mate, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it'll be a hard pass on this one. You know, that was kind of a passive push out, though. I'd like to see somebody tie something up or do something a little bit more than just roll the cue ball down table. Because you yeah. end up with the worst of it so often. Yeah, it was going to be kind of a soft safety if he didn't snooker himself is what he was thinking. Even if FSR takes it, he probably leaves me a pretty reasonable kick. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to yeah. just play the percentages at times, right? But always, like you said, you know, and this is all sports, when you're behind, you try to lengthen the game. Right. One, one way or another. And that was your opportunity. You might as well make full use of it rather than just push. But anyway, here we go. Pushing with speed. Yeah, that was asking a lot. He gave a great effort trying to coast behind. He was just hoping the two just kind of tickled past the four more. Now you can see the real traffic and trouble is the four to the five. And it's not nice at all. There's a lot of obstacles if you're going to try and play the four in the lower left later, the nine, the six, the seven going forward. The four does pass the nine in the upper upper corner, though which may solve a lot of problems. And from where he's gotten here, 
That probably is where I want to go with the cue ball from underneath. That was always in his mind then, the way he's lined up here, I believe. So. Yeah, and there's still problems that way. Yeah. The only thing that makes me feel like underneath is a maybe a little better is it's just a little more secure getting there. You know, you can go top and side, but if your speed's off, you could be in a real bad spot. I really don't mind playing the back two cushions here. I don't know if we can grab the overhead real quick, but because you can't get real close to the four, I don't mind this and settle for this. And let's say you fall a little weird, you can still defend yourself and place it and just tuck the cue ball over here too. Yeah, it does go by the nine though. No, I, I'm yeah, aware. Yeah. I'm just saying, but if, say he falls an inch or two short, now he's got to deal with the nine with the cue ball. Is yeah. The, where the other way, if you get over there, but either way. He chose uh, it certainly was, a bigger park, pocket this way. It no was doubt. touchy, though. Like, if he goes a little too far, now he's got the six to worry about and a side pocket that doesn't really allow him to go around the six too much. I think he's kind of going a little at the eight here, a little bit. Yeah. By it. yeah. There was hardly a crack of daylight between the two, so you were spot on there. Now he went too far, didn't he? Now he's got a thin cut. Not only a tough cut, but the cue ball wants to go towards that side pocket. And you would figure it's hard pressed to scratch at that angle, but it does happen. Oh, way more than you'd think. It's, it's almost like a mathematical thing that if you cut that in, it leads to another pocket. It, 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 yeah, it's A lot of different like shots. Yeah, and that's not just straight ends. It seems like off the rail. Oh, he shot that nice. He's going to worry about the seven a little, but. Great ooh. job there. Good recovery. Yeah, nice starter after a little bit of an unforced error there on the rollout from Kazakis. Got a lot of matches going on. Some very close and finishing up, right? Roberto Gomez just took down Con uh, excuse me, not Conrad, Miesko Fortunski 10 to 9. Conrad on the brink of a, a win there on the winner side. And I watch Conrad at the U.S. Open a lot, and he's been a great player for a long time, but I think he, he was struggling there for a little while, and it seems he's got he played a lot of solid pool over there, and he seems like he's just, you know, in form. So many other Polish players we talk about these days and kind of forget about him at times. FSR to get on the board first. Okay, LaFerrari won. Kazaka zero after a push out. Tell you what, that match with Strickland packed the house today. I don't know if you noticed it, but I did. I was oh, sitting yeah. out in the crowd yeah, and enjoyed it. I was it. up here doing it with John and uh I'm just saying we haven't had a good crowd like that all week, you know. He it brings them. He does. He's got some going on over there uh, on that side of the room. Definitely paying attention to another match at Earl's. Oh, yeah, I see. And he's he playing did. the youngster, the Spaniard, Sudo, who's had another fi fine tournament. Another guy's turning the corner. Jesus Atencio. And do you know Sullivan from Britain? I, I, never, I, I saw his name a few times this year, but didn't really see a ton of results. But now he's just beating a lot of really good players. And. He's 8-8 eight, eight with Jesus Atencio at the moment from the 4 o'clock round. Where do you see that at? That's right here down here on the oh. first table. Oh, yeah. DeLuna just started his match against uh, batter Alawadi. Naogi Oi and Fetter Gorst about to tee off. Winner side. Yeah. It's like pay-per-view. Uh, oh, yeah. Every table's best great. Best match possible. Seems like on all tables. Extreme left side of the break box here. Nine balls on the spot. These guys play the one on the side. Oh. Oh. Didn't make a ball. Yeah, those didn't. <laughs> Ferrari uh, just gave a, a little bit of a glance towards Kenny's way. Those balls didn't break like they should. And it's a hard job. It's hard to repeat it every time. And it 
just like any other pool shot, it doesn't take much for him. I, for I to also be did not believe that he hit him real well either because yeah. the cue ball dripped way down low compared to what I've been seeing. You know, normally yeah. the cue ball comes through the middle of the pack. Yeah, he didn't get as much, but the one sign of that is when the ball's pushed downward, those the one the and the two behind it, when they really just don't release. Yeah. It's a lot of times sometimes maybe just a gap got in there and it just happens. That's just how it is. These guys certainly know that Kenny and all these referees are, you know, certainly not biased in any ways and certainly just trying to do their job. All that being said, I still feel that the racking template is the best. Oh, I do too. Any shortcomings I do too. with it. Yeah, and, uh, I totally agree. Doesn't want to take this on, doesn't see much future, and doesn't like his percentages. Now, this to me. Do you think this is a, a rollout to go at a shot he had a second ago or more of like a safety he likes better off the rollout, Mark? Ah, uh, Yeah, that's a great question there, but I think a safety off this rollout. I think so, too, for some reason. I don't think FSR would decide to shoot from here and giving his opponent an option to, to play a safety back on him, right? I, 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 but I also think Kazakis will accept this. You know, I don't think he's going to pass it back. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's really laying there. Don't see a lot, lot that's natural on the safety. Can you bank it straight back at the nine and just let the cue ball go forward? I mean, you may, just, you're well, not going to lock him up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If he passed it back to me, that's what I would play. Is there any overcut to the right? Cut the one to towards the right and run the cue ball behind the wall there, the two five and all that? Just a straight high ball? Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Super thin and let it come down two cushions into the clutter is not bad, like this. Yeah, try and create something there. Now there you just forget about the one and you just got to play all cue ball for the most part because that's going to be the one that, that gets you there. I like the way he was thinking. but I think it was an opportunity, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I would yeah. play it. Uh, I would not have let uh, Ruiz shoot for sure. All those types of shots, I think to myself, well, would Efren have taken it and would he have done that? And I kind of think he would have myself. Probably the best rollout guy ever, maybe, player. Not the game of rollout, but just the rollout after mm -hmm. the break. Now, you're too young to have played rollout. I played it once for okay. for a few dollars. And yeah. That was it. I think I would have liked it, though. I think I know you would. You see way more beautiful runouts and much larger uh, break and run packages because you can afford to take a little chance position wise. Yeah. Unlike today's game, you know. So, yeah, I know you would have liked it. All right, he's got to smooth this. Doesn't want to catch the five too full. Yeah, that's the key. Even smoothing it, it didn't get a lot. But if he goes into it with more speed, he bounces a little more into that five and maybe even snookered. The reason that you would have liked it is it has a lot of one-pocket tactical aspects to it. Yeah, two and ways and different things, cool. right? And, uh, you know, because you can push out. But the game got too tactical for TV, and that's why we switched it. Right. And that's where the push out after the break came from. There was a rebellion. ESPN said no, and the players said no, and they compromised. with. But now it's been proven that that's not where the luck is at in pro pool is the push out. So... We still have it, a dinosaur. Most young guys have no idea how it even got in there, but I happen to have lived it. So it was just a relic where the luck is in pro pool is when someone shoots and misses and leaves you bad. Ooh, thought he overcut that one there for a second. Did cut, catch the top of the pocket. Now he's a little funny. Yeah, he got real light. Yeah, if uh, he comes in thicker on the pocket on the four, he comes more towards the center of the table, much straighter to draw off of this five. Now he's really got to create something that, that I don't think he can totally calculate. Uh, oh, well, no, he's going to have to clatter off the nine for sure and maybe you know. the seven. And the problem is you've got to put some draw, and I don't think he gets much of the nine with that draw, Mark, is the problem. Right. You know what I mean? Well, he looked it at shaves it. Right. He looked at the gliding He's banking off. it. How do you like that? That's I, how difficult it was, and what a shot. What a shot. And good judgment, too, because it was going to be murder to try to calculate what you're saying. Yeah, and the bank laid nice. Uh, that's another thing that really made his decision easy, I think. One thing that uh, he didn't dawdle around. He picked out that shot right away and executed it. He recognized that he fell way short on the position and just took his medicine. 
made a great shot. Well, one thing, he may take a little time making a decision, but when he gets down, it's pretty identical for the most part from shot to shot. Yeah, he's that very one, committed. Yeah, that one, two, little bump and go. Two zeros are score now. Yeah, we got a lot of winter side matches starting here at six. All winter side, I believe. There are maybe a one loss side somewhere still going. That would be Jesus. And is it, I think, Andy Sullivan from Great Britain? The one loss side matches will resume at eight o'clock along with some more winter sides, I believe. We carried uh, 16 winners into this round. So for that final 16, if you win this match, you're done and, and on into that final 16. If you lose this match, you got to win one more on the one loss side. And then that goes to single elimination. That's correct. Do you, do you know, is it a redraw or we already have it calculated? Uh, uh, I board? do not know that. Um, I've, I've seen both. Okay. Okay, yeah. So basically it's a it's a set draw. The only asterisk you may put in there is if a player can't basically be beaten by the same player twice. Um if they draw if they've drawn each other in the previous tournament, there'll be an adjustment to that draw. And most likely that might happen. But that's a great idea. Did the same in the one pocket without any issues. So, okay, funny little shot. He's a little full, a little elevated. He probably needs a hair of left English on this mark to get to the center. Or, what do you see? Well, just a little. Yeah. He's definitely putting, well, oh, he's, he's queuing low. I think a little easier way to make the ball drawn. Not going to get the angle he wants, though. So he's going to have to play short side on the four. And with the five a little covered up, things become a little funny now. Kazakis has always amazed me with his uh, firepower from long range and how pure it hits the pocket. Yeah, if he can play the four in the other pocket, he's got some options to pull the cue ball. Now he has to land with an angle either slightly below the four or a little bit more above to come behind the eight or above the eight. This is difficult. If he lands straightish, he's going to get beyond it. So this is going to get... I think pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Well, looking at the overhead, it's a, l a little funnier and it, yeah. it looks from above. Yeah, he's gotten more towards, he's going towards the side. I'm not saying he's going to scratch Mark, but now he's got to have really good speed control right. coming across. He has a narrow window. He can't come off the second rail and just drop into the five. He's going to maybe have to just go one rail even. That's right. One rail, it's got to be. I don't think the scratch is really there if he applies a hair of inside English, that being left. Yeah, if if you can't, you know, if you're dropping into a narrow window, then I prefer to play at two cushions and come into the corner down here. I don't know if we can grab the overhead real quick, but if we can, it would be down this way and come at the five up off the end rail. Yeah, he's got to elevate, though. He doesn't want to elevate. I, th I think he's okay here. He's just got to use that talent. Yeah, just use the speed control here. Good yeah, job there. Shot. Yeah. I thought it might have been a hair thinner than that. So, But even then, he had to make a great shot to get here. Yeah, that was, that was class there. And doing exactly what he needed, even though it's early. You can see FSR like he usually does com coming out of the gate strong. Right to the center of the table.
Break and run there, Jeremy. That's right. Pretty solid. Really solid. It's good. These matches are more fun when they don't get out of the get off one gets off side the right oh, away. Yeah, yeah. Then it can be a grinding thing. Yeah, Tell you that match with Shaw and uh, uh, Yap, that was pretty good stuff. Uh, Shaw broke and ran five times and was still tied, <laughs> you know, I mean, at uh, seven apiece. Right. So it's pretty strong. Well, Yap's one of those guys that is so solid, you know, in many ways. The brain is stroke, everything. And. He can stay in matches even, you know, because alternate break, right? He's going to give up some games, maybe make a mistake, but he, he's so solid overall, he's going to stay in most matches, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. given some opportunity. Uh, right. You know. Oh, yeah, and uh, Shaw played, you know, above 900 pool, and oh, you're I'm still sure. right there, 7-7. Yeah. Seven, seven, I mean, <laughs> darn good. You know, them players, you, you know, you beat them, but it's, it's just never easy, regardless when you do win. It's right. no matter what. Rare, rarely is it easy. Okay, Boy. pretty good connection there on the rack. Yeah, I'll say. Only to get oh, covered up. Ugly. Oh, it almost came free. Not an easy push out here. Not at all. <coughs> Might be the jump cue, really. But you, you know, you can roll out behind the nine, behind the six. He's going for the jump now himself. So from short range too. Yeah, and the thing about this, he's stretched as well. So nothing easy here. Now it's just a sliver, so he doesn't have to play it like a short shot as much. I see. You know, it's just a just a sliver of the ball. So. If you watch the angle of his cue stick, it, I don't think it's going to be as steep as what one that, you know, like as the chalk's width away, right? You see the angle he's on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty controllable there. Yeah, that's pretty controllable. And that makes all the difference in being able to really shoot at it right there or yeah. not. Now, he knew it was a risky shot, but he also felt like he's not going to come out of it any better by pushing out. He might be hard-pressed to come out that well. So. And I think the mentality of, is this was the same for the great players years ago, but it's definitely what I see today is the guys are willing to take it on, you know, versus maybe give my opponent the opportunity to put me in a worse position or, mm. or maybe not any position. Maybe right. it just runs out on me. Well, that's the other part of it is that when you push out and then uh, if you pass it back to the – now the guy is forced to play it, and so it frees him up to play it with a little bit more, you know, like commitment. Or the other way, you're always thinking, eh, I probably shouldn't be. Well, I don't want to give it back. And then here we go. Well, I guess I'll try it. There's that doubt and ambiguity about it. Well, he's falling straight here. He's considering just stopping the cue ball because he does have that where everything else, you have to go through no man's land for so long before you land on a position. Is he straight enough to draw back short side on the four, Mark? I no, would really consider no. that. I hate to get be it's real thin a, on the four getting to the six. It's a hint of the wrong angle, so he might be playing your shot, but he'll be coming at the six. He should be able to squeeze it by the six if he's if he's doing that. Oh, he couldn't, yeah. yeah. So he's got to play a really nice shot here. Not so much pocketing the ball, just a really good cue ball. The seven's a little big here. So speed control. Really important. Mm -hmm. Is he coming above it? Not, not a terrible play. Oh, he's going four rails. So little, little stunny. So he's going to end up a little short usually when that's the case. Didn't quite run off of that ball as much as kind of stunned off of it. Right. Usually cost you a little cue ball. I think he felt like he could pocket the ball the easiest that way rather than try to bend it to the rail and two cushion it out. Yeah, definitely. And it's preference sometimes, you know. Oh, yeah. And I know he hits that shot good. Oh, 
Oh, a sweet stroke there. Got the most out of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks to be right on, uh, right on the mark here with his stroke. Been very straight, and he's been hitting the cue ball purely. This would tie the score up. Two apiece. Another guy that's been in form all year, in my opinion. Kofi Nee. Really good. Those guys play so good. Yeah, his brother kind of started off the year struggling a little bit. I mean, if his brother played what he usually plays or close to it, I think they might beat the Spaniards in the World Cup this year. Uh -huh. That's how good Coping Yi was playing, just coming with everything. Uh, but Coping Chung definitely got it in form and got it together. Had a great U.S. Open. Still in this event, or he was last time I checked. Yeah, he just beat Tyler 10-1. Uh, Okay. Over there, and you know he's won some other matches to get back after Shark beat him right. earlier in the week. So, well, Tyler's playing well. He shot 950 here earlier. Oh, played excellent. Yeah. I looked up; it was 9-0 down there. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. But if you don't get a shot, then that's surely what happened. A little thin again, I think, really, but. We'll see. It's been a lot of rollouts for these guys. Now here, I don't know how much you can surrender the cue ball, but tying up the two or two and four wouldn't be terrible. But you gotta, you gotta give a piece yeah. of the one away. Yeah, exactly. Got to hit it at some point, but I, I do like the way you're thinking. Yeah, he could cross the four maybe on top of the two and leave a little bit of the one. You don't want to leave too much on the one, I guess, but this is difficult. I wonder if the one kind of plays off the six in any kind of way, like if you kind of push the three, right. play off the right side of the three and just get to the end rail up there, how playable the one is. Right. The problem when you push down here is that uh, Ruiz, oh, I thought he was going to the other end of the table. Okay, better. Because if you push down there, Ruiz will figure a way to move the one and the cue ball and get you safe. Probably behind the four, something like that. You know. So here, now this is a far. I think you got to just tickle it over to the left right left rail and just come one rail down using the seven eight. The two's on the back rail. He should take this on with the two being so tough. Meaning just chip the one to the left rail and mm -hmm. just run the cue ball. One rail straight down towards the pink. The 7-8 are huge. Surprising he didn't take this shot. Because even if you leave a piece of the one, if you hit it just anywhere kind of decent, good luck getting on the two. I think that's what he's going to do. Just chip off the right side. Just let the one float. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, he played it into the nine, but I was surprised that FSR didn't take this on. This looked very doable to me. Now, he did leave a piece of it, but you can see where's the two at, Mark. No, it would be murder to ever get this ball down and position. That's that's not yeah. available. He's going to be, uh, it's, I don't know how much he can even hit of it. but I kind of felt it was kind of like not a free safety, but one that could, you could really do well with. Yeah. And one that you're really not giving up much either. Right. He's going to do the same, chopping off the right side, I would think. Watch out for the three. Oh, he put inside. That's the kiss. He had to go with no English or outside English. And now he's left a perfect angle to drop on the two ball. All ball fouls here, so. 
queuing next to the three. I don't know if I float here or if I dive into the pink four here, Mark, with some inside. I kind of like, I know you might get straight, but I kind of like being secure. Is he going between the seven, eight? That's better. Oh, he hit it thick. That's not going to get there. So I took the pace out of the cue ball. He pocketed the ball, but he hit the wrong part of the pocket. And it looked like a hair of a let up on the downswing. Mm -hmm. That contributed to both the miss hit on the object ball and the Maybe the loss of speed. These are big shots right here. I know the shot clock's moving, but you really got to know your route. You're going. Uh, should be okay. Really nice. Just going to leave a little bit of it. but So he won't go really, I think, with spin on this one. I might just chop this one and try and run before the side up behind the nine. Using the four to hold the two. Yeah. I don't think I like putting a lot of right spin on this, uh, trying to come around the eight. You're going to go around the eight, but just kind of natural ball. Put a lot of spin on this, things can get away from you. Well, the way he looked, he might be putting spin on it because he wants to play the two rail first into the four. Right, like. right. But that's okay. actually better for you for no spin because you can come up the rail oh, okay. there, see? Yeah, good. Good speed. Oi, ahead 2-0, but Gorst about to cut that lead in half. A, well, rare, a rare missed kick from Kazakis. Yeah. Koping Yi, up 1-0 and at the table, playing Victor Zelensky. Robbie Capito, 2-2 with Elliot Sanderson. That's a one-loss side match guys fighting for their tournament life. Pseudo and Strickland, three apiece. And it looks like Jesus has gotten past Sullivan Clark is his name, actually. Ten to nine. What a match. Okay, the seven and eight are a little concerned getting on the six here in a moment, but he definitely wants to play with some angle. Now he's going to play it to just come one rail at the six. Pretty smart. Good job there. He didn't try to work the cue ball too close and do too much. He just took what the table would give him reasonably. I can just pop it out to the center of the table, I believe. I don't think he needs to try to draw it back. Too dangerous. Yeah, he's just got to make a decision. He's trying to decide, do I hold on this side or do I come across? They're both very doable. I probably don't come across on this one. But he's at the table. He knows how it's playing. Key to this is come into position slowly, no matter where you're going. Yeah, just let it kind of float over there. Well, he didn't have to hit it anywhere near as hard as I thought that was laying on the overhead here. Well, them good strokes, they get a lot out of the ball. That too. And terrific job there. With 3 2 now, Ferrari taking off.
that's an Earl clap I can tell on the outer <laughs> table. Yes. Looks like he's taking a four to three lead. He gets a lot of support, deservedly so. That's good to see all the juniors getting after it. straight draw you could see the ball arc on the yeah. bottom part of the rack and he's got the timing down perfect really easy spreads made the one but then two other balls dropped into the other side each other's side pocket simultaneously <laughs> it was kind of an interesting look that you don't see very often three balls down on the break and he's got a funny little shot to start because he can only get thin on the three a little bit Good thing the six isn't, you know, the six is over the pocket, so he can play the six from a few places. He'd love to get it back where it's at now, the cue ball, I'll tell you that. How often does that come up? All the time. Yeah, it sure does. It's Looks a great little drill, to be honest with you. Kind of full with. What know, do you do, put a target out there? Or well, how do you, or put it back. I'll bring it back to where you started. You know, you can pick a bunch of different shots. That, you know, one rail off the end rail, uh -huh. you know, two rails yeah. back into position, you know, it's. I kind of like it because I feel like nothing gives me better feedback than where I started from. You know, I mean, yeah. as far as like testing the timing of the stroke, the speed control and all that kind of stuff, right? Because there's nothing, no other variable involved. You're just going back to where you started. So he got right where you said he yeah. should get. <laughs> but it does student. come up often, yeah. right? Oh, I'd love to be here on this next one right here. So. Right. He it's hit it well, and he hit it aggressive, which you got to like. He didn't try to baby it and kind of coast too, too much. He took the draw stroke. Just a really, uh, obviously a great player, but a fun player to watch. Really always enjoy watching FSR. Certainly over the last few years, we've got to watch him develop here at a couple of the major tournaments in the U.S. and see this evolution. He was always a straight shooter, but he did not have the complete skill set that he presents today. He might have even been the first uh, European Moscone uh, point getter this year, I think. Oh, he was? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I think Filler was. Filler was, excuse me. Filler was first. He just got his, uh, you know, conclusion to a great year in his, his Moscone Cup announcement at the U.S. Open once some matches on uh, kind of developed and some points that, you know, you, you saw certain players couldn't catch him. Yeah, uh, yeah. But actually, Filler, I believe after the European Open, him and Shane are, were two that couldn't be caught. Familiar territory for Shane Van Boning. All right, there you have it. 4-2 now. Break and run out there for Ruiz. Yeah, and his, uh, his running mate's in action now on the winter side as well, playing Alvin Ocean, David Alcady. They're early. It's like it's 2-1. to one. Here I am. David, I think. I, it, it's like uh, a whole bevy of pretty girls. I look at all of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every table here is just killer. Don't be getting too giddy on me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, Gorst is going on. I'd like to watch that. Yeah, there's a lot Alban. of talent. I love right watching now. Albin. I, I personally think that when it comes to complete skill sets, Albin might be the very best Euro, is, for my money, uh, all the way around. Yeah, it's. 
it's it's there's some hard arguments out there. I mean, the one thing I see is that if you look around, it's just like all hard workers as well, and I don't think it's any coincidence what we're seeing and what we see left. Sky Woodward played a great match in his last. He told me he played perfect. Who who was that against? Do you know? Uh, yeah. Actually, you don't have to look. It's no, it's I like. I don't maybe. mind. I had it up just earlier. I don't mind at all. Yeah, he's cutting them quite a bit more. Did get some good action on the balls. That's for sure. One Almost. ball went behind the side pocket. Doesn't appear that he has a shot other than a rail first shot. That's right, he played Roland Garcia. Total. Yeah, 10 to 5 he won. Yeah, I saw Garcia beat Holman 10-9 earlier today. Yeah, Roland's had some drama-filled matches, that's for sure. Some matches that uh, have had us on the edges of our seats. Pretty good kick shot there. You take what you can get holding the cue ball. Not an easy shot to play safe from here. Like looking at trying to go rail first with the one on the three. Try to use the blocking balls down here. I don't know what he's doing really. I think he's shooting the one at the three off the rail. He looked. Wow, what a hit. What a hit. That was. Yeah, that's the result. Cuts all cut so cleanly like that. And stroke, yeah. stroke was good. Should hit this. He's missed one, but this is uh definitely got a couple ways to maybe pocket the one ball. Could kick him behind it, shaving it off the three, could just naturally make it. I like a lot of soft kicks, but not with this much angle. Too easy to come up behind it and not get a rail. You know, it could lengthen on you a little mm -hmm. bit, so I like trying to get after this one. I think it's going to be the high left before he gets to the side pocket for the first rail and then let it expand. Yeah, it looks like to me about a diamond before the side, maybe, with the, with the left, something mm -hmm. like that. This will have some pace on it. So we can get to the, no, he went real soft. Well, the soft one had some you know, some things good that could happen, but. But making the one off the three was out then. Yeah, Basically, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I like so. the chances of some offense there. Uh, and and like I said, sometimes at that angle that, you know, when you're really kind of sliding off that first rail more than into it, easy to lose the, the bend on the ball and come up from behind and not mm -hmm. get a rail. Looks pretty good. Natural two rails. High left ball. Or, you know, a little above center with the left. Um, that's not going to get it. You better hope he doesn't get snookered. Should be able to get him on the back of the 5 7, you would think. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'd um, go all out for the bigger side of this thing and forget the three ball, just however, it, whatever it takes, get that 
cue ball wedged in there between the five and seven. Well, I think if he if he's comfortable and doesn't mind applying the spin to do it, he can bring the three up towards the seven as well, making things even tougher. Or towards the six, excuse me. Like that, you know, kind of mm -hmm. didn't quite cut off more of the ball, but, you know. Cut off a ton. Cut yeah. off a hair of it, that's for sure. Yeah, that's not going to be – well, I don't think, think there's an easy one-rail route. Oh, he can't get to the bottom rail with a little right. I guess there's he, only about a half a three ball kicking that exactly, way. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's the issue is that, that he can. Well, good luck getting a rail on this kick. This is If he's dead over the ball, it's really hard to get the pace coming three rails behind this. Looks like he's got a little right, so he should be okay. And he can get separation this way if he hits it good. He did hit it good, but he hit it too full. He hit it too good. <laughs> Only pool did we ever say that. Oh, I hit it too good. Yeah, I don't, I don't think exactly I've ever that said means. that in golf. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's, there might be other reasons for that. But. Well, in pool, we, we all have some ego in there. So rather than say I didn't quite get what I want, I hit it too good. I'll tell you, I know this bank's there. And the reason why he really likes it is because the six as well, not just hiding behind the four. But this one can get away from you. And he's got a pretty easy safety behind the five, seven. He likes it, though. Sweet. Man. You know what that reminded me of? When Mika won the World Nine Bowl Championships his first. He won it twice, right? Yeah, I believe he did. But his first in Cardiff. He made so many long rail banks where he just rolled it in after the break. He just never even thought about playing safe. He just, every time, oh, hmm. yeah, I'm going to shoot this again and run a three or four more racks. It was pretty incredible. A little kick there. He's got the side if he doesn't want to work the ball above the six, though. Go a little bit. That should work. And blistering pace being set here by Ruiz. Five, two in front. Ping Yi now 3 1 over Zelensky. Looks like uh, Elliot Sanderson 4 3 over Robbie Capito. 4 4 with Sudo and Strickland. And Sudo just fluked the 8 in. 4 4. 3 2 Fetter over Oi. Looks like 4-1 to David Alcady over Albert Ocean. Game number eight, Ruiz breaking. Didn't seem to come apart real good there. Yeah, that may have been more what you were talking about earlier on that. Maybe not the best connection on the one, but the two is, oof. Know, if it doesn't pass the five, this, this could be really tricky. Getting around for that side pocket by the three looks next to impossible. Now he's looking to see if it goes by the eight in the side because he does have a three rail angle off the one to maybe get there, even though that's not easy either. Would you come around three rails, maybe play the safe or the cross side bank, maybe yeah. something like that? Yeah. But, the, but you still got to maybe run into the three. We'll see. Oh, that's light. Yeah, that's got to go. That's strong enough. That's got to go. And he 
Like just again a little let up. I think he's hooked there. Yeah. yeah. A little let up on the down. And the thing is, you don't feel it as much. That's why it keeps happening at times. Uh, because usually with the little let up, it's from that quicker backswing a little bit. Got a little quick going, going back. And that's really about the only way I see the let up, unless the nerves are like through the roof high, which I've had those. <laughs> yeah. Engineers for the Space Shuttle, Shuttle Challenger did not refer to it as explosion, but rather a rapid, uh, spectacular disassembly. Yeah. And I've had that on my stroke before. Yeah. Oof, look at this shot he's trying. Talk about not getting a rail. Yeah, that was hard. When he, when he had to use the power, it took the curve away, you know, even though he probably... That's why I was suggesting he may not get a rail because he had to quick yeah. curve it so much. It was for sure an ugly ball to try to hit because I looked at there wasn't a natural route. And you were going to have to manufacture a two or three cushion route to hit that two. He thought the mass A, but then he wanted to make sure he got a rail, and then he overhit it, and then didn't curve. And then LaFerrari now has ball in hand. Yeah, I was wondering if he might push something. I was thinking you either push the five or maybe the eight. You know, that eight out there in the middle was kind of, you wouldn't want to push it a whole lot, but it makes more sense to move the five. Now, did he fall where he can't drop downward? He, he's got to be able to drop downward, I think. You know, he'll just spread the cue ball upward a little bit. Kind of a natural little two rail angle off the five coming right at the six. Spread just like you said. Natural two railer coming at the six, straight at the six. Wide margin of error speed wise on this one. Yeah, and that's where you stay aggressive. Make sure you get a nice little bounce because your line's so good. No reason to hold back. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, perfectly straight in. So now he's going to have to use his backstroke or ba backup ball here. Draw stroke. Oh, stun draw. Okay, he did have a hint of an angle, or else he manipulated the pocket. And quickly to a huge lead, you would think. Yeah. Uh, position error by. Kazakis has forced him to use his timeout. 6-2 is our score. Smart timeout. We will be right back momentarily. Okay, everybody, we're back. 6-2 is our score. 
Kazakas who really hasn't had much off the break. A lot of funny push out situations. A little better there. Mm -hmm. Not as thin. Got a lot more action. Has a nice shot on the two. He's got to work the cue ball back a couple rails. Um, and then maybe, just depending on where he falls, contend with a little bit of a problem getting on the four. We'll see. Maybe oh, yeah. short maybe short side on the four here in a moment. That's what's kind of leaning, I think. Like it becomes two rails towards the right. head spot, you know? It's not going to be an easy you know, transition from two to three to four, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, once the two's gone, you'll see that side of the table will open up a lot. If he comes two rails, like I said, towards the head spot. Ah, it looks like he's settling, going straight back and forth. He doesn't have much of a gap here. Yeah, I didn't understand that at all. That made zero sense to me. Not only did it make zero sense as far as even if he gets to where he wants, which is near the cushion on the other, you know, on the other side, how do you get shape from there? You're gonna have to really power up with top inside because you can't draw because the th seven's there. Hmm. Is that a little bit maybe not wanting to take on the two as a tougher shot, Mark? Yeah, entirely. Right, soft kick most likely here. The problem with not taking on the shot with the two is that your three was forever going to be tough. Oh, it, actually. It, and went, probably tougher. Yeah, yeah, he went with a really nice kick Good running job off there. the edge of it. I like the long rail kick here myself. It's a little tougher uh, up to the top rail, but you're kicking towards congestion, bringing the three and the cue ball down here behind maybe the four, five, yeah. eight, nine. He's going for the jump. I really, of course, I'm not the jumper FSR is. But I really like kicking to the top rail here. It's kind of sitting right in front of you. You're kind of facing it. It's not very difficult. I think he's going to kick to the side rail. I don't think he's seen the kick to the top rail yet. We'll see. Well, he's got a big pocket there with the six as well. This shot can also bank in cross side. Yeah, you can get separation. If you separation. rifle it, yeah. You need to hit down on it, though. And you don't have to cream it. Remember that. Yeah, just a good solid hit. Look at this. It's going to spin in position. And Kazakis is getting absolutely punished oh, for boy. every mistake. Yeah, what a result. It's just amazing how many balls get kicked in by these guys with, you know, Playing the shot, but it's also low percentage. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of times that's why a lot of these guys will stay a little more aggressive, you know. I mean, uh -huh. and, and, and it makes sense to me. Okay, brushed a nine going by, so he's just going to have to pay attention to a little bit more position on the seven later in the rack. Looks like he's almost perfect. Maybe a little thinner than he wanted, but just don't baby it too much. Go ahead and get into it. That way the spin takes. Hmm. You realize he fell just a hair thin. Now he's got to execute a big stroke. Yeah, and the 
problem is uh, he can draw for this ball, but if he catches just a little piece of the nine, he could send the nine downward. So he's going to slide over for the nine in the side. That's a smart. Ooh, he's going to get on top of it. He needs some freedom. Oh. I think he was just trying to lay up for the side, I think. Yeah, he went and looked at the side beforehand. It did appear that that's what his choice was. Playing safe? No. No, playing in the corner. Switch. Oh, okay, boy. That was deceptive. I thought it was more tilted towards the side pocket, but that was almost straight in the corner pocket. 7-2, our score line. Hey, the key is when you're playing good and you're rolling good, keep at it. 983 on the TPA for Ruiz. Oh, uh, wow. One fif mistake. 59 made, one mistake. On the contrary, uh, Kazakas has a handful of mistakes, which uh, they're hideously bad, but uh, that's, he's got punished for every single one of them. Yeah, Foley made a nice kick shot after getting snookered there, and Ruiz kicks it in, zips up the table and back down for shape on the pink four. Breaks from the extreme left edge of the nine inch box. Yeah, definitely thicker than his opponents. And he's got some doable safeties here. A little touchy, but. He can move the two pretty comfortably if he wants. He can cut the two towards the four and run the cue ball. That's not bad. I mean, normally you would move the off the edge of the two with the cue ball in these positions, but this one to me isn't that bad to bank the two between off the bottom rail between the three six and kind of. Slide over with inside coming back towards the four with the cue ball. You got the six, mm -hmm. eight, five, and possibly kind of jail behind the four. And it looks like it's pretty natural. You just got to kind of draw across it a little bit. He's going to cut the four into the two, uh, two into the four. Try and use the five, eight. Look at this. Is he going to swing up on this five ball? Oh, my. Terrific play there. Perfect. Every time I come here, I learn something, you know, by the approach or something. A lot of times I, I notice I get stuck in my own shots there, and I, I wouldn't have gone. I would have played the two into the four okay, but I would have gone the other way with the cue ball, which I wouldn't have anywhere near did as well as Ruiz did. Yeah, I think what directed him in that route is he could hit it easier going forward off the two. If he had to go backward off the two, he loses a little more control of the object ball. Yeah. You know? I think no. that had the biggest play on why he went with inside and kind of a high ball. I like the kick here. He didn't like it. He's missed a couple kicks, but the kick really plays here for separation. Oh, what a hit here, though. These guys are so good at holding their ball, even when they're jumping it. Mm -hmm. Robbie Capito on the eight to tie the match. It's Elliot Sanderson. 4-3 with Al Katy at the table and the lead against Alvin Ocean. Coping Yi, 4-2 and at the table against Wick Victor Zelensky. Earl, 6-6 six, six with Sudo, Jonas Sudo. 
Now he's going to need a little help with the object ball, I think. That was always tough because he had to play it thin or else the two's going into the seven or yeah. something. He was trying to double bank it. Still nothing easy. No. Got to deal with the seven ball there. Yeah, he's got to deal with uh -oh. this, right? He's got to get something. He's got to get decent on the four to get to the five. He's got to use a lot of stroke doing so. Got to get from the six to the seven later. He's lucky that eight ball got freed up right there. That might make things easier later in the rack. I think he's okay. Still nothing easy. He's got to get a lot out of right. this. You don't want to end up super thin on this five, just barely getting past the eight off of three cushions. Let's get down to at least the middle diamond. Yeah. Gonna get thin. Same thing I saw, Mark. I don't know what you saw, but again, a little bit of let up on the downswing, it looked like. Yeah, maybe. The one thing that uh, did happen for sure was when he had the top spin on the cue ball arced into that first or second rail, and that took some of the momentum out of it. All right, I like him simplifying it. Making sure he's getting to the side rail, but really not much side spin mm -hmm. on the ball. Probably his best stroke in the match as yeah. well. Really pure. I much needed out. It looks like he's going to get there. Looks like maybe you can just draw it back, but you don't want to cheat the pocket too much. Oh, he had plenty. He overdrew it. speed into that <laughs> or at least more than I expected uh, he was thrilled thrilled about the cue ball going towards that side pocket too <laughs> with a little pace he knows he can reach but he worked through a tough layout there yeah stemmed the bleeding here a little bit seven three eight eleven the TPA 60 balls pocketed the 30 balls that tells the tale right there that ball count is huge and our Fetter course is stretched out against oil a little bit, six to two. And he was down two zero originally when That's you right. mentioned it, right? That's yeah. right. Alvin Ocean making a little catch up on David Alcady now, five to three. He trails. Uh, Yusuf, I think that's the one loss side between him and Sand. No, I, maybe that's the winners. I got to look that up. But I believe he's up three to one on Sanjin Pelovanovich. Jeffrey DeLuna and Batter Alawadi. That is definitely a one loss side match. All these guys trying to get to where their records are erased. And that high ball. Oof. Yeah, but look, he's so, well, he may have come clean with a cut. He does. Yeah. Q 
Cue ball's going to have to go to the other end of the table and back. Yeah, he's got to kill it a little bit with side spin unless he wants to gamble and come between the 5-8 or any of that. I thought he may kind of kill it and come straight off that second rail and take come down for the cut on the three, but maybe right. not. Yeah, I think you go right at the five here, two cushions. Yeah, watch out for a bad kiss of some sort. All right, he played the outside, so watch outside pocket. Yeah, that was always in the picture. Yeah, and now this out becomes very difficult if he can't get above this four. He's probably got to play the five in the side because you want to get real nice and mm -hmm. straight in on the four. You know, that way you're not taking on too tough a shot. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get super close to the four. Yeah, these guys are so good at cheating it. True that. Now, the one thing when you cheat it and you overdo it, you make it lose the cue ball line a little bit. Yeah, that's smart. He's going to fall down past the nine. Speeds up maybe just a little bit here. Yeah, let's turn this into probably about three times harder shot than he expected. Good thing is, doesn't have to baby it too much. He can come down to the rail. Now if he gets a little straight on the six, things could get a little funny, but. chat just what Jeremy said too this rack is going to be a every ball is going to be tricky nothing routine won't be able to coast through this run out well to make this comeback he needs some of these I think uh, mm -hmm. you know establish that confidence and really only was a couple of mistakes really just Mainly not getting a whole lot of, um, you know, positive off of, off of his safeties and different kicks and stuff like that. And then, and then 968. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 968, don't forget that part. All right, he's going to kind of bend it a little with top. I don't think he's going inside, just straight top. Great. No good work there. Pulled back uh, another game with a good break and run out. Alex Kazakis, and he's got a tourniquet on there. 848, is that what that says now? 848. Okay. Earl Strickland now trails 8-6. to six. Could owe within a couple of nice runs uh, behind a safety. Robin Capito and Elliot Sanderson tied at 5. Koping Yi, 6 2 ahead. Same for Fetter Gorst over Naoki Oi. 5 3 for David Alcady. Looks like Jeffrey DeLuna's up 6 to 5 on the one loss side with Batter. And Batter's countryman, Abdullah Al Yusuf. Looks like he's ahead 4 to 1 on, over Sanjin. Here's our National Beard Academy rack track. They split the first four before Sanchez Ruiz took five on the spin. And now with a couple on a row for Kazakis. Okay, Ruiz would like to 
stifle these two in a row by Kazakas. Looking for a quality break here to start things off. Uh, one ball found the mark. Yeah, the two's going to open, but it's going to be thin. Very thin. Yeah. I think if he had really a little more guaranteed position, he takes this on for sure. He's a very aggressive guy at the table, but with all that traffic out there, I don't know. Problem is, it's not the easiest. You can't come off the right side of the two very effectively. And the left side's kind of touchy. I think he can come off the left and just creep the two past the eight and let the cue ball drop behind the three mark. Yes. It, 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 this shot is so tenuous that I think he needs to just play cue ball and not even worry about the two. Try to, you can't do both from here, I don't believe. Yep. Nice shot. Yeah, just go all out for the cue ball and, and whatever happens, happens. That's your best shot. Now, if Kazakas kicks it towards the side pocket it's nearest, you can you can pocket that ball and get position, but you can also scratch in the corner off the eight, too. Yeah, if you hit the high side of the two, you can go upstairs and get some separation. So I probably like the kick a little better myself. The six is a little in the way, though, right? Or no? No, the six ain't bad. Well, he's jumping. Hey, hey, yeah, but he's I'm just looking at the anyway. kick. But it doesn't even have a pocket, I don't think. I think the seven and five are in the way. <laughs> he had a pocket over there, but boy, was that ever a tough shot. But it worked out great. <laughs> right? Well, there were some of those that went didn't go his way earlier in the match. Yeah, no question about that. Better course has won seven in a row over there. get the separation there played the two nicely but caught that ball coming back up so he's going to bank the two down and just kind of just use the seven and five here mark yes gotta be careful where he puts the two doesn't want to put it over a pocket oh this is this is okay that oh, same got, type of he thing. He got a, a terrible spot for FSR. <clears throat> went, went all out with the cue ball, and then kind of have to just let the two ball settle where it does. He knows he can go here or he can leave it open, but if he's got the cue ball taken care of, he's okay either way. I don't know if he has anything kicking at this ball. Yeah. Oh, he, he can pinch it from yes. there? Okay. I didn't know if the four was in the way. It's still an ugly shot to shoot, though, because it's very remote that you pocket it. It's very easy to leave, you know, well, he didn't even hit it. So very easy to leave them both on the same side of the table. The three got a little ugly, even with ball in hand. He's got to play a nice little cute positional shot, short side on the three to make sure he can get on the four. I'm not saying it's tough, but he's got to pay attention to these first few shots. to the rail. He can draw back. He's got to elevate, though, it looks like, huh? Yeah, it seems unusual that uh, the cue ball went right where he shot it. So, I don't know if he was surprised by where it went or what happened there. Anytime you have to use this type of angle with your cue after you've had ball in hand the ball previous, that's not going to be the way you wanted it to be. Yeah, that's for sure. But boy, he hit that nice and smooth. He got back in line here. And earlier in the match, I said he was a straight shooter. Now you get to see it. Great 
great chat. It's kind of a funny deal here because if you try to lengthen it out and get to the short side on the six, that's awkward. If you try to bend it around the seven, that's awkward. I think center of the table. Yeah. This is the difference. I kind of roll off this with spin versus draw off of it because my touch coming to the center isn't going to get away from me. Right. If you stun off of this, you got, even though you're close to it, you know, you should handle the speed. But anytime you're stunning, you're getting into the ball a little more. So you can lose a little touch. Now, it looks like to me he might draw past the nine. I don't know. But center of the table, I like that myself, Mark. Yeah, that's more it. But you see how he kind of a little more hit off the ball. And, not, yeah. and I don't mean a bad stroke. That's not what I mean at all. It was a great stroke. But he played a little more kind of ricochet effect off the ball mm -hmm. versus letting the spin kind of run him into position. Right. So just preference again. That's all. Well, I, no, I don't agree with that because – well, I mean, when you roll it, your touch is better right. under pressure. Right, right, because so. otherwise you're creating a different angle, so you're not only you don't have to hit the right volume of the spin, but then you have to judge the speed where your shot is just purely judge the speed. Yeah, that's it. It's kind of like the shot he just had. If you want to play maybe a hair more spin, you can actually roll off of that six ball and let the spin take. Efren does that a lot. Uh, I, I kind of prefer it. Uh, Ralph Suke, you, you would see him kind of roll off the ball with spin a lot. Now, you have all the shots those guys do, but it, it's mainly just talked about when there's a choice and when preference is kind of in play. Kazaka's fighting, though, I'll tell you. Seven five. Yeah, ball game. Yeah, he's up to 870 now on his TPA. Yeah, and he's really only, you know, one service break off here. Does break the balls here in game number 13. And Ruiz playing 953. It's hard to be within two games after 12 if somebody plays a 953 on you. Well, it just shows you probably a few rolls early, maybe a few little kick safeties or mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. And and then, the, again, what Ruiz has done all year, take full advantage. Well, the one and the two found the pocket. Three, four, yeah. Not a bad layout. The three is a little awkward to get on the four. Yeah, tri tricky little over. shot, huh? Can you pinch it over? Or you, you can, but this is, I think, just say, hey, I can handle an angle on the four because the seven gives me a pretty big pocket down there, I think. True. So yeah, don't, don't be of afraid that. of that cut shot on the four. He's going to zigzag, I think. I would probably just try to kill it as best I can I could. Oh, he did it. That, and he hit it beautifully. That's a pretty big pocket down there. In fact, if you clear the point, it's hard to miss it. That's right. Right? That's right. But you gotta get past the point on the side pocket so you can't just butcher it. Yeah. And I always hit it my best again, just a nice medium stroke. You don't want to baby it, and you don't want to bang it. Really Ooh, nice. Really good is right. That was pure as could be. Straight shooter. Now he's going to have to top spin down and short side the six.
and he may have to introduce just a hint of left English here too because and then how he hits the pocket is what dictates so I, looking I, at just getting on the combination I would have to consider it I would I mean I think he's got the angle to get on the six like you were talking about yeah um I think he does anyways just high ball maybe a hint of left English just like you were saying just a, just a touch right you the reason the much. combination is tough is that they're pretty far apart and they're off angle and controlling the secondary object ball is tough, and especially if you don't fall on it perfect. Well, you can't fall on it straight in. That wouldn't be smart, right? So you got to play the combo with a little bit of a cut. This looks like it'll Boy, do to me. What a nice shot. Good job there. That solves a lot of dilemma. That's why you stick around in these matches. You don't exit early, mentally or physically, because they can change. Okay, a little thin to maybe spin with outside. I think it's going to be a little inside right English here to just come straight up the table. I wouldn't go around it, I don't think, myself. Looks a little thin. I don't think he will either. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> He's really digging in fighting. Yeah, you can see it every stroke, really. Kazakas, a fighter, rallying back. Uh, Ruiz wants to take a quick timeout now. 7-6 is our score. Very enjoyable match. What's Earl score down there? I saw you leading forward. He just went, ran, uh, won three in a row. He's up 9-8 to eight now. Oh, wow. Yeah, they both played really nice match. One mistake apiece that I've seen. Both kicked at the ball well. Good safeties. You look around, I mean, you're just not going to see too many runaways. Uh, I mean, we do have had one here that could have got that way, but these guys are fighting. All of them, all these players. Fetter Gorsh now, he's 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 done a little of that this week, a little separation in the yes. matches. But really, overall, though, you're going to see a lot of close matches from here on out. Okay, everybody, we are back. The Ruiz breaking. As Ed Ladawa said, rack 14, he trails, or Ruiz ahead seven to six. He's broke the ball's great in this match. Got a few more shots at the beginning. But two's going to open up oh, here. Oh, man. That has to <laughs> dishearten anybody that's for Kazakas. See this type of layout for Ruiz. Now you're relying on him making an error. Yeah, he's got a little tricky congestion over the three, but if he can come away, the two to three goes though. He if he can he can move the ball above, he can get underneath in between the six eight, play the four yeah. up long, a three up long, and stun over for the for the four pretty easily. Doesn't have to play in that kind of odd side where it's near and where it's really hard to move the cue ball. I'd really look at underneath here. With a high right ball, it looks like you can get in between the 6-8 pretty easily with the cue ball. Or maybe not. Seems like on the overhead he has more of the angle just go straight up the table. Yeah, that's okay too. He's got a pocket there. Good call, Mark. 
Wants to come across and get a kind of a one rail angle to come down off the four to the five. Yeah, out in there. Kind of heavy ish. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is one you'd rather fall short on than overrun the position. Oh, he might be coming back for the to play the, the four off the side rail. I oh, know he hit laid up with the one rail off the top. Oh, good speed control to get it straight. Looks like he's perfect. Hit a high ball, no? Yeah. I know he's looking at drawing with spin just short of the side pocket. I'll come it down for short side then. Oh, he's going to need it to go. I didn't think it was going to get that far, to be honest with you, but now I don't know if this is playable. That's the left side of the cue ball. Kind of hard to, yeah, to I bank this five away also just right. because only the left side of the ball. You ever get bad position and then punish yourself and make you shoot it from there? Or <laughs> rather, than, I always like to compound my errors with another <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes you got to be reminded <laughs> of that, you know. When we're yes. playing all the time, it's a little different, <laughs> but when you're not, you got to be reminded of everything, it seems like. Well, I like what he did there. That was effective. Now, Kazakas can make a decent kick. You can kick this for the side pocket, and you got a great chance to turn out safe. Yeah, great job. Great job there. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah. And my compliments to the chef on that one. Well, he's getting out ready to jump. He can jump that little thing there. Okay. He's going to jump to six. Oh, he's jumping to six to kick at it. Yeah. <laughs> he likes the one rail kick. I see why. Cross corner. Oh. Got to go. Cruel. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he did make a great hit, though. Boy, sure he, did. He effortless. Uh, he just knew he was going to hit it. I didn't feel that good about it myself. Okay. A lot of times the guys draw the ball just directly out here, not even really trying to use a rail at all next just to the ball at least. It's so hard on these tables when that's buried in there deep. Just a hint the wrong angle here on the six. Not a problem, but just uh, he wants to mentally get prepared for his next shot. Yeah, he can kind of pinch it here if he wants. Take a little bit more of a cut on the seven. Seven doesn't pass the nine, so he can't really draw past the seven too well. Yeah, he just pinched it over. Maybe pinched it a bit too much. Now he might have to go forward. Pretty straightish, huh? It's just a hint the wrong angle, I think. Well, Maybe not. Might be. I think you'd rather. Yeah, no, I think it's real straight. Yeah. I'd rather be able to go forward to the rail than straight. Yeah. That's for sure. At least it gives you some. Avenue to get better on the eight. Notice no side spin there. And the good thing about that one on a shot like that, you can let the stroke out a little more, not worried about it getting away from you. And you're not worried about kind of grabbing the six a little bit there, or the seven rather, and missing the ball. And you don't have the score to either to yeah. compensate for aim wise. You can just go right for the heart. Earl Strickland and 
Jonas Sudo of Spain are 9 9 with Earl Breaking. 7 7 with Robbie Capito and Elliot Sanderson. 7 4 Coping Yi and Victor Zelensky. You know, it's kind of a funny thing, too, on uh, Kazakis' straight in ball there. If you go straight high and hit it hard, do you know it's real hard to scratch behind that, even though you're perfectly straight in? Oh, yeah, yeah. You and I yeah. talked about that before. Efren had told you about that, right? Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it almost seemed like he used that because he didn't use any side spin. He yeah. Was just so you know. There you go, the rack track. Look at that. Five in a row and return after Ruiz yeah. had five in a row. <laughs> We're tied at seven. Super similar rack track for both the players, just a little dispersed differently at different times. 897 now for Kazakas. Uh, from 7 2 to 7 7. Zaka, who I think has figured out the break since the beginning of the match. Hitting them a little thicker, it seems. Oh, ooh, friendly kiss on the cue ball. That was heading towards that opposite corner. Instead, a beautiful shot on the two. And first real chance to take the lead in the match, Yeah, it seems like. Well, Kazakis has fought hard here. He's he has not had much go uh, simply. This is probably about as nice a layout as he's had. Came clear of the eight. It's perfect, actually. Let's be one rail position, just attack towards the four ball here. Could come two. I would just give one at for that nice straight in kind of a little bit of an angle on the six. The seven goes in the side and the lower right. So just come right at it. Yeah, that's nice. Nicely. Yeah. Powered it up a little bit, stunned it out. Quality break and run out here to take the lead. Eight seven is our score as Kazakis gets his nose in front of nine hundred on the TPA at one oh or nine oh nine. The Beatles have a real famous song, one after the nine oh nine. You don't know that, but I just now you do. I don't know. I listen to a lot of Beatles on eight tracks. Uh, I, eight tracks. Yeah. Well, my older, my older, you know, I'm one of five kids. So I'm, okay. I'm, I'm one of six kids. I'm sorry. I'm number five of six. So 
and my older brother and oldest sister are nine and ten years older than me, so, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I knew all about eight tracks. Okay. Pseudo got stuckered from nowhere over there. Doesn't look like he's going to give up a shot. FSR to break now in rack 16. Absolutely new territory for him in this match. Yeah. Now the Ferrari jutted out there to begin with, and Kazakis has now clawed his way to one game in front. Yeah, six in a row. One ball down. Oh, the two got a nice kiss. Looks like everything does play. Got some work. Some congestion out there with the five, a little bit covered up by the eight. He's got a nice starter, though. Falling a little straight there. I think he does have the good angle, just enough to fall forward for the five and the, what will be the lower right-hand corner. Needs a hair of inside here to make sure he avoids the nine totally. Not much. Pretty straightforward. It's going to trickle the head here. And a nice return of serve here from FSR with his own break and run, it seems. Second time in this set. We'll be tied at eight momentarily. Strickland goes down to Jonas Sudo of Spain, 10 to 9. 7 7 with De Luna from Batter Alawadi. Sanjin trying to make a comeback with Al Yusuf at the table and trails 6 to 3. Robert Capito is at the table up 8 to 7. Victor Zelensky trying to make a comeback against Coping. He trails seven to four, but at the table. Better Gorse on the heel quickly, nine three over Oi. Uh, Oi just got one back. And Alvin Ocean at the table does trail David Alcady seven to four. So these matches heating up. Maybe no more than our match at eight eight now. Staying with the left, left side of the break box. I took a little speed off of that one. Cue ball pinned on the rail, though. Whew. Yeah. 
And uh, one ball while he could cut it into the side. I think he's got to go. I think I, I mean, he doesn't have to sell out first off. Cue ball is going to go towards mm -hmm. the two and eight. He might get behind the two. I don't feel he's getting snookered off of this shot. I, I worry about the six ball, though. It's going to clatter off the six, which yeah, will redirect a, it a little bit. Just a hair, though, if, if any at all. I think he goes kind of into the eight, maybe not. I mean, he can come off the left side of the one. The nine's not playable, is it? Yeah, it's pretty thin. I looked at that. I'll yeah, tell you what, yeah. it ain't bad from where he's at, though. I kind of like shooting at the one myself, but. Can you bank the one? Not really. Yeah, not for the close. Rail. Is he just rolling on the six? Yeah. Ooh, nice shot. It's easy to let that one get away. And I'll tell you, he may go the jump cue with the one off the nine here. Got a big ball to hit at. I thought he would like the short jump. Maybe not. the cue ball really fancied his chances of making that one that's why he went with the lighter speed yeah yeah really uh, you, you thought he had a real good chance to score it you did not think he had enough power to go off one ball then the nine ball and scratch two <laughs> yeah a little unfortunate yeah I think so too We still have an 8 o'clock time slot for matches and also 10. That's right. I was going to say bump the 8 to open the 6. He played that by design when he had ball in hand on the 1. Yeah. Now what he's shaking his head about is getting from the 7 to the 8 because of the nine being there. Just going to have to play straight for a draw stroke or, or coming off the left side of the seven somehow. Really, the way the six is, it shouldn't be too much of a problem getting somewhat proper. Yeah, if you can get straight on the seven, that plays great. Yeah, these guys got to both have a beautiful draw stroke. Thinner than I thought he would here, but just going to kill it a little bit. So now he's going away from it. So yeah. now he's got to decide a little more. You're right, because most of the positions lead the cue ball to the nine right off the seven here if he gets wide to this thing. Yeah. He may have to just take a, like, about from the spot here, Mark, top inside, get to the spot ish, and just take that, that straight in. Oh, he got a lot more out of it than I thought. Table's gripping pretty nicely there. Yeah, now the he's far enough spin. inside the just extreme draw. You, yeah, you can get past the side pocket there, but you got to hit a pretty pure stroke. Yeah, key is don't overhit it though. Make it, let it grab. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Get way past the side. Well, looks, you know, can't take anything for granted, but looks like FSR will get to the hill first. And then he has his one break to try and end this match. Doesn't want that hill, hill, and Kazak is breaking. 
Nine eight is our score. Quality run out there after the uh, ugly scratch on the kick. Yeah, Federer Gore's at the table to end that match, get to the final 16. Tony Shohan, as Mark talked about earlier, won our one pocket division. And Federer Gorst took down the 10 ball. I mean, I would put Gorst as the favorite on the 10 ball, even though, you know, he made it look like he was more of a favorite than he probably really is, just how mm -hmm. great the other guys are. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd put Tony as, you know, Mm -hmm. One of the top two guys is the favorite in the one pocket. And, and again, it's just a little bit ahead of the other guys. Not much at all. And very opinion based. But him and Alex probably right. The two top guys yeah. in the one pocket. Yeah, no suspect. question. Roberto's right there as well. I think Roberto's game has really improved, especially on the tournament side of things. He's getting that nice draw on the ball there. If this just rolls out a bit. Oh, he's got a shot. The three's a little funny, though. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to have to deal with a nine here. I don't know. Yeah, he can go three rails with inside um, going around the six, but it really doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. Yeah. He can almost pull it with outside to get back across for maybe some type of safety on the three. I'll tell you, inside isn't terrible, though. If you feel like if the pink four wasn't there, he 100 percent is going to come around with inside and maybe play a safety off the three or a bank cross side, something like that. Mm -hmm. But with the four being there, it's a big ball to snooker you. And maybe not take that chance. I don't see any great safeties, do you, Mark? No, I don't. I was just wondering about that myself. It, it looks like if you're going to, if you say, boy, I, I just have no way to get out here, I think playing safe on the two makes more sense. Yeah, unless you can get to that secure place. Okay, he can get over there. He just laid up to play the safety here. So he feels like the safety's better here. Yeah, got a little funny because he's got to cut the three a lot to get it by the seven, not only initially, but, you know, to get it off the top rail mm -hmm. back by the four and seven. Oh, yeah. So nothing easy here. Now, a lot of times what he'll do is he'll spin it, but I think he's going to give up a little piece of the ball if he just spins this with right English, tries to throw it a lot. That's going to catch the four. I well, you yeah. called it. One thing on that shot for me is just make sure you get it past the side and make Kazakas come with it if you do give him a piece. Yeah. That was tough, though. He he got on the, the uh, three ball about as good as you could from where he was at, and it still was not good. I think playing safe on the two was a better decision. Oof. Caught a little bit of that rubber on the way in, but he's okay now. Oh, what a big shot. Yeah, that was never easy. That was, did a good job with that. Alvin Ocean cuts it 7-6. <laughs> Hard to slow him down. Yeah, with him and David Alcady. He's going a hair away from this, Mark. Like, so... Does he just follow one rail above? Um, can he get to the five in the I side? I think he's going around the seven, isn't okay. he, with top spin? Yeah, but can he oh. just go one rail? Oh, he went this way to try and play from underneath. This could get tricky if it doesn't slow down. But it did. <laughs> yeah, a little funny following when the ball's close, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see his face is yeah. very happy. It, I think he got dead straight, or he we, may not be able to get past the side. We don't need to wonder if he got dead straight. <laughs> <laughs> we know he got dead straight. Well, he's looking to see every or any chance possible to play the five and get past the side with the Yeah. Cable. 
See that shot right there that he's lining up? I, I really, uh, I wouldn't mind cutting this five ball in the corner with inside spin and just not even fool with all that. He's going to take it on this way. Oh, no. Big problems now. Wow. Huge problems now. Misjudged the backspin. Now he's treetopped, thin cut, and this is uh, do or die time here if he sells out. I guess he's shooting at it. He doesn't have to, but it look, I'm right down the barrel, and I kind of feel like he is. Usually overcut this, actually. You let it swerve too much. Like, eh, he had it clean oh, to the top shot. part of the pocket. Great Watch shot. That. Wow. What a beast. <laughs> what a shot. That was. Had a little remorse at first, but maybe the shot clock <laughs> moving on him helped him there to make him get down and just pull the trigger. Yeah, maybe. I've seen that before. Well, Kazakis has had to fade a lot in this match um, at the beginning and also to get back in it. And yeah, even no here question. at the end, yeah. So that's all to that, no matter the outcome. Nine nine is our score line. <laughs> Little fist bump or high five here, Kazakis and Ruiz. Yeah, I would bet that. Uh, Ed reminding everyone how great these two have played over 900, but these two are going to look back one day and talk about Hill Hill matches, and I just wonder how many they've played already against each other. Ruiz and Kazakis, Euro Tour, all the other big events around the world. Well, Kazakis won the leg, so he gets the last break. Players at this level can break and run out at a clip of 30%. like yap and Jesus Atencio going to tee it off soon on the one loss side two guys again how many just that's the other thing is look around and not only what's coming but what's going to be around for the next 20 years 25 30 years in pool and yeah and more of them are absolutely on the way Aloysius yap is 24 Gorst 22 I think yeah. 22 or 3 but but like all the Polish players, most of them pretty young. Yeah. A couple of the vets there, Babika and um, Conrad's a little bit more of a veteran than the, some of the guys. But. Well, I'm on the, the side. One. The two's out in the Looks middle. Looks like the two's going to give him a shot. Oh, he's got to love it. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Huh. Five, two to six maybe a little tough. I wouldn't overthink this and bring it back for the side. I really like playing the three in the lower right corner, just naturally moving the cue ball for the four, especially when nerves are high, hill, hill. Mm -hmm. Trying to draw the ball for the right speed for the side can be touchy. Now, he's just, I don't know, he just might move it one rail over. This is exactly hey. almost what I was talking about. Hey. Hey, he crept in there. It's he's okay, still fairly right? thin. No, yeah. it's still he's gonna have to bend that cue ball. I agree with you. I always like that natural flow off the ball, especially like I said, when it's really nervous moment. Yeah. I mean he could have come out I think he could have pinched it or just come one row out, rolling the ball for the three in the corner. And now he's just gotta make sure he stays off that cushion. If he goes into the five, that's not terrible. But if he moves the five too much, it could be a problem. And if he's trying to move the five, he can overcut this ball, too, trying to get on the five. Oh, no. That's good. Yeah, that's good. If he moves it another three or four inches, this four becomes a little thin to hold. <laughs> yeah. I tell yeah, you, that's right. He's got a little, he's a little thin anyway, so watch out for the nine, getting over the nine. Shouldn't be a problem, but 
That's what I'd want to stay away from. I think he kind of recognizes that as well. Be interesting to see if he goes with just a hint of inside that makes sure the nine's out of play. I think he can go either way, a hint of inside or a hint of outside. Oh, uh, yeah, One good or point. the other. Probably a hint of outside would be better to slow yeah. the cue ball down. He went just straight ball. This Here's is what the I was nine. Talking about getting <laughs> dead over the nine. He's okay. Yeah, he freed it up. But it was kind of going that way. And it's amazing how it happens when you don't address it prior. You yeah. Know, like, oh, yeah. Well, this happened. Okay, just stay away from the side, even if you got to take a little more cut on the six. Boy, he didn't like it at first. He moved on that as much as I've ever seen him move <laughs> yeah. on the ball. But I think it's kind of like this. He wants it bad. You hold this and come three rails or you come across. You got to come across, right? Yeah, I like coming across. You can hold this too much and really get yourself in trouble. Where if you come across, it's hard to get in trouble. Yeah. And even there, it's a, di a, a little bit of preference. Like there, I, I roll it across, but I use a hair right to check the line on the mm -hmm. ball. Neither right or wrong, I don't think, anyways. Well, what a comeback. Now, of course, FSR has a lot of fans, and he's gained even more throughout this year. So he'll just need to win one more match to get to that final 16. Now, this is top spin two cushions and play the... Nine in the side pocket where on the same side that the eight ball's going in, do you think? Uh, no, he's drawing. Uh, yeah, I would stun this out myself. Well, stun it or out. Or draw it out. Either it one, two like he's rails. Drawing it out. Two rails, either one. One rail out or two. Oh, he let up again. Just a little bit of let up there. Let's see a regroup. This makes it more exciting. It sure does. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sweaty myself. And tenacity has prevailed here. He fought hard. Alexander Kasakis. He's in the top 16 now. Yeah, the final 16. He is in on the one loss. I mean, the uh, zero loss situation. FSR has got to win one more. I think the pivotal moment really was when he got himself jacked up back there just two wrecks ago and had to make that shot. He made that big shot where the time clock might have been involved. Yeah, what a shot he made, too. Yeah. Over the seven, you mean, on the six. And then, Both of them played great. And then he finished it up with a break and run out. They yeah. all, I mean, the it was pure class. Really so. class all the way through. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. On behalf of AccuStats, we appreciate it. That's our time for this time. Until next time, so long.